civilians, not rebels. You keep making noise, the command will land. Did you see the shell casings? That wasn't a rebel ambush. The Red ordered the Metron unit to take out our train. Fire. They just stepped in the wrong line. Friendly fire? The command tried to waste this one in the scabs. Oh, man. Done it now. We'll be fragged for right. sure. Nobody's going down. Just keep your motion in check when you can't go home. You heard what happened to Owen? Yes, we can. Now get stacked. All right, we didn't fight any rebels, so we couldn't have let them go. All right, no. We just sat up there. I had to be okay about this. <laughs> First, let me say welcome to the Resistance, Captain. I'm sure you realize that Central thinks you're a spy, but I've reviewed your debriefing tapes and I have a hunch that I understand what makes you tick. Enough so that I've persuaded Central to give you a chance. One shot to prove your sudden change of heart. You are to spearhead an attack to take a consortium refinery offline, permanently. An informant will meet you there and provide you with a security card that will allow you entrance into the facility. Your principal objective is the thermal coupler on the fourth level. Once you have placed the pack, one of our extraction specialists will contact you with coordinates of the nearest teleport pad we can commandeer. Consult your data link if you have any further questions. Good luck. Maxis out. General Maxis assures me that you're the one for this job, Captain. Our recent troubles have prompted General Maxis and I to keep this assignment secret. It's a solo job. Only you will know the true objective of your mission. Recently, it has come to our attention that the WEC has developed a new encryption chip called Cypher. All our attempts as of yet to decipher communiques encoded by this chip have met with failure. However, intelligence has located the scientific institute where the WEC manufactured these chips. One of our operatives will provide you with an access card to gain entry into the fabrication area. You are to locate the plans for the cipher chip and upload them to Corporal Reeves, whom I shall be personally standing over to keep his insatiable curiosity at bay. Once we have the plans, we will set up an extraction point. As always, if you have any further questions, consult your data link. Dismissed. Oh, it's you again. Do you know what I had to do to get this card? Here, take it. Take it. Get it away from me. Whatever you do, don't lose it. I absolutely refuse to get you another. I don't care what Maxis says. Why am I doing this? I'm just a scientist. I tell you, this is going to kill me. And they won't even have to shoot me. I'll just drop over dead of a heart attack. I'm starting to feel faint already. Go on, go on, get out of here before someone sees us here together. The WEC is stockpiling large amounts of nerve gas with which they intend to eradicate the resistance in our sector. Thousands of innocent civilians will die as well. According to Central's analysis of the data attained in the last few missions, Senator Everett Snell has the information we need to locate this stockpile. 
It's up to you to escort the senator out of that nice, safe government complex he's holed up in and bring him in to sample the high-tech comforts that Central has to offer. Brooks will handle the insertion reconnaissance on this one. Once you've got the senator subdued, Corporal Rees will arrange for extraction. Consult your data link if you have any further questions. Dismissed. We'll be making a preemptive strike on the WEC stockpile of nerve gas this time around, Captain. Corporal Rees will insert you into the main storage facility with a fusion pack. All you need to do is plant it anywhere on the containment unit and everything will blow sky high. Our scientists assure us that the ensuing fireball will totally combust the toxin, rendering it harmless. However, we won't detonate the pack until all our units have evacuated the area. The WEC will assume the snail has talked by now, so they'll be expecting us. We get one shot at this, Captain. Make it count. One of our informants, a research scientist working out of the WEC's Advanced Armor and Weapons Division, has been discovered. He is being held in maximum security detainment pending execution. Now I gather that his termination has been delayed until he finishes work on his latest project. He's fed us valuable information for a number of years and you are to expedite his immediate release. Central requested you for this assignment specifically because you've already met the gentleman in question. Once you have located Professor Wilmar and his latest invention, Corporal Rees will contact you with extraction coordinates. If you have any further questions, consult your data link. Dismiss, Captain. According to one of our operatives, Chairman Dragan has arranged a private meeting with a group of his key senators tonight. Central believes that they intend to discuss the new WEC superweapon that Snell told us about. You are to infiltrate the complex where this meeting is to take place and listen in on their meeting. Remember, Captain, this is strictly an espionage mission. If any alarms are raised, we may be forced to abort the mission. Rees will arrange your extraction after their meeting. As always, if you have any further questions, consult your data link. Good luck, Captain. Good evening, Senators. Things are progressing much faster than I anticipated with the offensive capabilities of the Vigilance Platform. In fact, it should be fully operational within days. But before that happens, I need a list of all the cities within your districts that are openly aligned with the Resistance. In light of Petra's fate during our initial field test, I'm sure that they will capitulate quickly. As I promised, in return for your support on this venture, each of you will also have the opportunity to designate a political target for the satellites and as the world breathlessly awaits the fate of the cities on your list, your rivals shall discreetly be eliminated the moment they leave their homes. Not only will the Vigilance Platform ensure the continued cooperation of our constituents, it will also secure our rightful position within the new order. The world will remember you all as visionaries leading the way to peace and stability. I salute you, the backbone of the consortium. Dragon out. I'm glad you made it back, Captain. While you were on your last mission, since we're so short-handed, the Colonel decided that he would fill in so Cardova could get some rest. Sergeant Brooks made it back, but we never got an extraction transmission from the Colonel. Reeves is maintaining a constant monitor for Ely's biosignal. 
but we have to assume that the Colonel is missing in action. I contacted Central, and they put me in command until a full investigation has been conducted. We will soon find out what happened. Central has another mission for us, Captain. An informer has confirmed the location of a new weapon Chairman Dragon plans to use in his Zero Tolerance program. No identification of the weapon, just its location, unfortunately. Cardoba will do insertion reconnaissance for you, and Reeves will teleport you in. Once inside, you are to locate any information you can concerning this unknown weapon. Central has also authorized destruction of any prototypes you may encounter. Once you have the data, Reeves will arrange for your extraction. If you need to know anything else, check your data link. Good luck. I thought I'd better brief you on the latest developments myself. While you were out in the field, I decided to do my own sweep of the base. I found a consortium comlink hidden in Sergeant Brooks' gear. When I confronted her about it, she jumped me. She teleported out before I could order the base lockdown. I was suspicious of a hate so deep, so loud. If I had acted on my hunch quicker, maybe Colonel Ely would still be here. Here's a security card to get you past level 3. Watch out on level 4, though. There are mechs patrolling beyond that point. Now listen, you've got to tell Central that they've got to find someone else to handle the meetings. I am jeopardizing my cover being here with you like this. I'm just a scientist, and I'm afraid that people are getting suspicious back at the lab. Hurry! The guards are coming! The good news just keeps on coming, Captain. Central has finally broken that cipher chip you brought back, and our worst fears have been confirmed. The Consortium has almost completed work on an orbital command center called the Vigilance Platform that controls a number of strategically placed weapons satellites. Central has learned that the plans for the platform and a list of target cities are being kept at the Kimball Security Facility. Cardova will lead a strike team to take out the teleport screen. An informant will give you an access card to get onto the level where the plans are being kept. If you have any further questions, check your data link. Once Reeves downloads the plans, he'll handle your extraction. Good luck, Captain. According to the data Reeves heisted out of the Kimball facility, the Vigilance platform is not totally independent of ground control yet, but it will be soon. However, Chairman Dragon has already delivered an ultimatum to New York. Either cease all dealings with the Resistance and hand over all rebel leaders in two days' time, or be history. Central believes that whether New York complies or not, it will be used as an example. The way Petra was three years ago. Our one chance to keep the consortium from slagging another city is to drop you into the data bank that the platform is still linked to. Once you're inside, use your data link to download new coordinates for the chairman's demonstration. Reeves will arrange for your extraction. There's a lot riding on this one, Captain. Good luck. No rest for the wicked, Captain. I just got word from one of our operatives that Colonel Ely is still alive. He's slated for termination tomorrow, but if we act now, we might be able to get him out in time. I'd send Cardova, but I just don't think he's up to a mission this delicate right now. I wish I could send someone in with you, but we just don't have the manpower. Make this one count, Captain. I don't want to lose another good soldier.
What's the status on our traitor, Lieutenant? I trust you realize that the Chairman has a personal interest in the fate of this rogue silencer. Why, Captain, what a surprise. I seem to have underestimated you yet again. Or more appropriately, I seem to have overestimated my soldiers. But no matter. I know when to cut my losses and run. Of course, this necessitates covering my tracks here, which should also be useful in convincing Central that you really were the spy after all. I trust you said your goodbyes before you departed, because there won't be anything left when the blast pack goes off. It really is too bad that you chose to side with the Resistance, Captain. The consortium is a far more lucrative investment. So long, Captain. It was fun while it lasted. Central has confirmed that the Vigilance platform is now totally independent of ground control and fully operational. Chairman Dragon has informed all cities with allegiance to the Resistance that they have 24 hours in which to comply with the Consortium's strictures or face total annihilation. If we do not act now, the Resistance is doomed. All attempts to contact your unit directly have failed. I am assuming that this is further work of the saboteur. Therefore, I am contacting you directly. Our only chance to stop the Consortium's plans is to attack the platform directly. You are to teleport to the Hawking Space Center. The final supply shuttle is scheduled to depart in less than two hours. Once you have secured the shuttle, we will transport a squad of soldiers to your location. You will act as their leader during the assault. Maxis, out. I fail to understand, Major, how an officer of your caliber has consistently failed to eliminate this traitor. With all the firepower of the consortium at your disposal, it is hard to give credit to the reports that this rogue silencer is even now aboard the Vigilance platform. However, given the state of the shuttle launch pad, I must concede that it is indeed true. I'm finding it exceedingly hard to justify to the Appropriations Committee the money we have spent on you, Major. I fear that the President is beginning to entertain the idea that you were an unwise investment. However, if you are able to secure the platform from this threat, I shall have little trouble ensuring that no one seeks to liquidate any investments prematurely? Do I make myself clear? Crystal clear, Chairman Dragon. For the record, I'd like to state that I fully appreciate the patronage of the Consortium. I'm sure that I can prove that it's still economically feasible to continue to support your investment. I shall not disappoint you a second time. That's right, Major.
The vigilance program is a very risky proposition, Mr. Chairman, even for something as admirable as helping rid us of this resistance nuisance. But how do I convince the other senators that it will assist them in dealing with their constituents as well? If word got out prematurely, well, next year is an election year for the Senate, you know. Politics is a risky business, Senator Snell. You shouldn't have gotten involved if you weren't willing to take chances. Besides, everything is already in place. But I'm sure that an appropriate display could be arranged to convince your constituents and the other senators of the program's efficiency. And who wouldn't be willing to gamble a bit more of hardship for the sake of global peace? Even more so if the Senate promised a decrease in taxes when it comes. Once the public has been shown the remarkable breakthroughs that the vigilance program can provide, Mr. Chairman, I'm certain that no one will oppose us in keeping... Status the, uh, quo, Doctor? Yes. Exactly. And once the resistance has been crushed, who wouldn't vote for the... Uh, visionary leaders that brought about world peace. You just make sure that the other senators approve the funding, and I'll see that vigilance is first use target your concerns. Providing, of course, that Dr. Hoffman's experiment proves more successful than some of his others. Congratulations, traitor. You have unraveled my plans to crush the resistance for now. I shall be forced to spend months in interminable Senate hearings about Kiev's destruction, not to mention reinforcing the public's opinion of President Gauthier's actions in this matter. So, as a way of expressing my gratitude for your timely service, I shall allow you your small victory. But rest assured, Silencer, I shall not forget about you. The world is a small place to hide.
I'm Colonel Ely, and this is my base. Listen, Captain, I'm going to level with you. I don't like this arrangement any more than my troops do. They may not look like much, but they run like freaking clockwork out in the field. And I won't stand for anything or anyone that compromises my team. Comprende? You'll be quartered down the hall from here. I doubt that it's anything like what you're used to, but the resistance makes do with whatever we can lay our hands on. You'd better settle in quickly. We lost Philadelphia to the WEC last night, and the word is that the next push is going to be in our sector. Resistance over in Sector H-37 got hit this morning by a full battalion of WEC troopers and mechs. Word has it all the survivors from this morning's raid are being held for interrogation and experimentation. Now, Andrews is next up for insertion reconnaissance. He knows the drill. The rest of the job falls to you, Captain. Once Andrews confirms your insertion coordinates, you are to locate and free the prisoners from H-37. After you free the prisoners, Corporal Reeves will contact you with your extraction coordinates. Consult your data link if you have any further questions during the mission. We're counting on you, Captain. Good luck. We haven't been formally introduced, Captain. Though given the circumstances of our first meeting, that's hardly surprising. I'm Major Joanne Vargas. I don't know how you got past the doctor and his guards back at the prison, but I hope he's on a slow shuttle to hell right now. Anyway, thanks for getting me out of there. And even if no one else believes you, I know there was nothing you could have done to save the others. To be honest, once Hoffman was done with them, there wasn't that much left to save anyway. Glad to see that you're still in one piece, Tin Man. My name's Troy Reeves, but most folks around here just call me Wizard, because I spend all my time out running your consortium gadget jockeys. I'm what they call an extraction specialist. I'm the one who's responsible for bringing you back. In fact, you might say your life rests in my hands. Remember that. The resistance lost a lot of good people in that prison. You're lucky that Major Vargas's report to Central cleared you of any complicity in the death of the other soldiers you were sent to rescue. Of course, I doubt that's going to do much to change some of the opinions around here. While Reeves is waiting to pull you out of the refinery, he went skating through their computer nets. It seems that one of the WEC's new mechs is being developed in an industrial complex not five sectors away from this very spot. Central would very much like to see the specs for it. Cordova will handle the insertion reconnaissance. After Reeves has the data, he'll power up the extraction teleport pad. I hope you have better luck this time. Dismiss, Captain. Good work on that last mission, Captain. Maybe General Maxis is right about you after all. Here's the latest situation. The WEC has several resistance sympathetic cities locked down tight, starving civilians along with the rebels. Thousands of people in Geneva alone will starve if our next food shipment doesn't get through. And the public still thinks we're shipping in weapons. Newscasters. They blindly report whatever the government tells them as if it were fact. We need to get the food past the WEC blockade. You are to sabotage one of their monitoring stations. Andrews will be acting as your insertion reconnaissance man again. Once you're inside, you are to locate and destroy the central communications array before our convoy starts to roll in. Consult your data link for help locating the receiving array. Once you've placed the blast pack, Corporal Reeves will contact you with extraction coordinates. Dismissed.